Hey guys and welcome back to another vlog. We hope that you enjoyed the Salem vlog so that was the last vlog that I posted. We had an amazing time in Salem. Did you have an amazing time in Salem? I did. So in the spirit of missing Salem and Massachusetts, we're making some apple cider donuts today. Well, I'm making them. He's just gonna eat them. So, so I'm making some apple cider donuts. I actually just started with like the beginning stages of it which was reducing the apple cider. I have some melted butter and then I have my flour mixture right over here. Also something else that we're gonna do is we are going to decorate some Halloween pumpkins today. Or actually carve Halloween pumpkins rather. I am going to do a pumpkin Mickey like the, like the one that they have in Disneyland. Please do not mind <laughs> this print job but our printer is running out of ink. So this is one in here is going to be my pumpkin. We got these from Trader Joe's, very, very inexpensive. How much were they? Uh, it was like three something a pumpkin. I think it was like, like three. Three ninety-nine. Three forty-nine. Three forty-nine. Yeah. I so, mean, they're not super huge, but they're good, good the, size. Perfect. Yeah, and they're nice. So um, I'm gonna do the pumpkin Mickey, which this is a pumpkin Mickey that you guys see at Disneyland, right in the entrance. We haven't been to Disneyland yet, unfortunately, to see it, but I have seen it in pictures, and um, that's what I'm gonna do. And actually, one of you guys, one of my subscribers here from YouTube, actually sent me a picture on Instagram. He made it, and it actually inspired me. And Teddy, I believe, is your name. Um, so yeah, thanks, Teddy, for inspiring me to do this. What image are you gonna do on I yours? Really, I was just thinking now, like, do I want a classic pumpkin, or do I want to do, so I bought this kit, um, which is not really a pumpkin carving kit, but it's useful for pumpkin carving. It's actually a, a ceramic for ceramics, but um, I was thinking of maybe do it, I saw, you know, like you see people where they actually like do reliefs instead of um, cutting out all the way through and just making a design. So I don't know yet. I never know what I'm gonna do. But at the end of this vlog, you guys will see our pumpkin carving creations and you'll have to vote on whose you think is the best. Vote for me. A vote for me is a vote for you. <laughs> anyway, we'll keep you guys posted on our recreation of um, Salem Day. Anyway, I was just telling him that we had, this is Florida, um, although it's nice and warm and great, but the sun really blasts here, and so the front got too much sun, so I don't think we'll be able to keep these out or else they won't, they won't survive. And then our, even the plastic pumpkins that we have out, the, the ones with lights, the sun's already bleaching out the orange. So we'll just keep these inside until the day of the Halloween party. I think so, yeah. At night they'll be fine. Well, we'll even... Take them in and out. We can even leave them inside for the, as decorations for the party. Alright, so right now I'm about to start the donut process. Well, I've already started. Now I'm just going to add the wet ingredients to the dry. So I do have to let you know, this is my first time making apple cider donuts. I really hope that they come out right and that I'm gonna follow the instructions correctly. So they said that it's going to look very wet, so now I'm gonna stick this into the fridge and then I will continue the rest of this donut making process later. Three hours later. So, um, I forgot to vlog. And actually, I got the donuts cut out. So far, so good, yeah? I don't know until I see them come out. <laughs> I know, I'm nervous. I think this is the hardest part actually, is actually getting the dough they to cut like out. They're rising. We're trying to get this oil to 375 degrees, so I don't have an actual thermometer, I just have this little infrared thing. 209, all right, so we gotta get it to 375. Also, we have to get the cinnamon sugar ready because as soon as it's done frying, we're gonna immediately put it on top. Okay, the, so do you wanna? Uh, uh, here's the, here's the cinnamon right here. Do you That'll be your job, all right? You can make the cinnamon sugar. Okay, the oil is ready. I'm scared. Don't be, just toss it in. Ooh. Okay. One. Let it drop in. Maybe you should put it in with like a spoon. Bring the sugar to the side here. Let's throw another one in there. Okay, don't be afraid. So it says to like leave it on there for about uh, one minute on each side. Ooh, they're looking good. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. What's it reading now? 356. Which is, you wanted at 350, right? It's gonna be around 375. Oh, 375? Yeah. Okay, so we just flipped them, and this is how they're looking. They're looking good so far. So the reason they look brown is because obviously they're apple cider, so we have to put apple cider in them. That's why they're brown. They're not, they're not burnt. Okay. okay. Are you excited? I am. And we also did the cinnamon sugar. Well, you did that. That was the hardest part of all of this. The cinnamon sugar? The cinnamon sugar. You have to know oh. your proportions. So. <laughs> all right. Go ahead and uh, take them out. Thank you. 
That's the last one. We also are doing the donut holes. Can I use this? Can I use Basically, it? they're the centers of all the little donuts that I popped out of them. Oh my god, it's my first time making donuts. I'm so excited. And look how good they look. Wow, not too shabby. The time has come to taste these delish donuts. I'll let you try a donut hole first. Right, donut hole. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Kind of like over there, sort of. Mm, it's okay. It's good. They're good for homemade uh, donuts. I gotta try a big one to find. All right, one big one. Here we come. We can share a big one. Would you like milk with that? Ooh, they're still hot. All right, try. The whole donut's good. Mm -hmm. It'll be really good with coffee in the morning. If if they survive the morning. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Thank you. What do you think? I guess I was expecting it to taste just like it did at the at the farms mm -hmm. in Massachusetts. It's still good. Maybe this recipe isn't good. There's a, a lot of different recipes out there. It's not bad, it's good. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a, I mean, it tastes like a donut. Tastes mm -hmm. like a good like apple cinnamon uh, cider donut. Well, mission accomplished. Now we gotta do these guys over here. All right, it's now time to carve these guys. All right, several hours later. <laughs> it's my fault. Yeah, yours took forever. I decided to go with the, the you'll see. All right. I could have made it easy and just did the silhouette, but no. So these are our hours. That's mine. That is John's. And that is his. Introduce, introduce Ariel to oh, the vlog. Ariel. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I, think I mentioned right. him before in, when Mata was on. Yeah. Oh, she was born. <laughs> Sorry, Gio won't stop barking. He's hey, it's a ghost. There he goes. So yeah, so no, this guy Ariel, uh, we used to bartend together back in the day at this place called Crimson Lounge in Chicago. If you've ever been there, uh, let us know in the comments. And uh, he's moved all over the world. He's been to I don't know. You've been to Singapore, Japan, or China. Where All those places, but I lived in China. Yeah, you were in China. Uh, he was the one we went to San Diego to visit. You probably saw that video. Remember, babe? Um, we didn't. Um, we didn't vlog that trip. We didn't vlog that trip. No, anyway, these are our pumpkins. Obviously, I did a Mickey pumpkin. And what is what is yours supposed to be? That's a haunted house, and there's a bat. Haunted house with a bat in the moon. The moon. And in yours is a a drunk. Pumpkin with the tongue sticking sailor out. Hat. I think that's a sailor hat. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, cute. He's a drunk Just sailor. Wait there. Turn the light off. Ooh, look at yours. Look how good it looked on camera with the flashing lights. And these are them in the night. Very cool. Good job, everybody. Everyone, give yourself a round of applause. So now go in the comment section down below and comment which one is your favorite. I I know which one's my favorite. Yours is my favorite. No, I like I love yours actually. I like. I think Ariez is creative. I think mine was like the easiest one to do, and yours was like no. The apparently, most. he started after us and finished before us, so his was clearly <laughs> easy. <Simple. laughs> exactly. I'm like sometimes it's better to keep it simple. I wanted to go artsy and like ooh, I want to do something difficult. Looks and good. And now my arm hurts. Okay, guys. So I just realized that I did not film an outro to this video, so I'm gonna do it now. I really hope that you guys enjoyed our Halloween slash Salem slash home vlog. Let me know in the comment section down below which was your favorite pumpkin. Also, if you guys carve a pumpkin this year, make sure you tag me to it on Instagram or send it to me on my email address. I'd love to see you guys' pumpkins this year. And with that being said, if you guys are new here, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell for notifications to be alerted whenever I post a new video. Also give this video a thumbs up, that really helps. And I will see you guys in the next video. Also, before we get off of this video, just to let you guys know, if you guys haven't watched my announcement video, but we are going on a Disney cruise in just I don't know, I think it's like seven days from now. So we're really, really excited about going on a Disney cruise. If you guys have not seen any of our Disney cruise vlogs, I will link it right here so you guys can go check that out. Go check those vlogs out. Okay, bye.